Half a day and hello, my name is Edward Castro. I'm a park attendant here at the San Alejo Lagoon Ecological Reserve. Myself and the ranger staff work with the San Alejo Lagoon Conservancy and the California Department of Fish and Wildlife to maintain about a thousand square acres of coastal wetlands. We're gonna be taking a short trip around our ADA approved nature center hike. The varying wetland habitat that San Alejo provides makes it a perfect environment for a biodiverse ecosystem full of healthy plants and wildlife. The reserve is home to more than 400 species of plants in nine plant communities. Many rare and sensitive plants are rooted within this region. Continued protection is critical to ensure that future generations can enjoy the reserve's incredible biodiversity. You may notice that we are surrounded by native plants like mule fat, buckwheat, lemonade berry bush, arroyo willow, and coastal sagebrush. The region's native Kumeyaay tribes would use these plants during the pre-European era in California as sustainable sources of food, clothing, and shelter. San Alejo and its inhabitants have faced a number of challenges since becoming an ecological reserve. Chiefly among these concerns is the management of invasive species, damaging the balance of the ecosystem and causing environmental issues within the ecosystem. San Alejo has had a number of non-native plant species attempt to occupy and claim territory within the reserve. Invasive species can be transported accidentally or without the transporter even knowing. Decorative non-native plants like pompous grass, date palms, canary island palms are commonly maintained in the homes of the surrounding residences. Airborne or seeds stuck to the bottom of the shoes from these plants can enter the reserve area and start a new plant in the nutrient rich soils of the reserve. Unfortunately, there are no native predators or protections from these plant species. They will grow uneaten, unchallenged, and unchecked by native species. They will claim territory, grow, and take over the resources from the native species. This can cause large die-offs or something like this. Where you would have standing here a grove or a forest of a royal willow now as a result of the shot hole borer you see pretty much just devastation Along with these invasive plant species, San Alejo has been plagued with invasive insect and wildlife species. They also cause considerable damage to the environment, particularly the shot hole borer, a new pest in Southern California, has caused the death and decay of large riparian forests within the reserve.
This boring beetle from the group of beetles known as the ambrosia beetles drills into trees and brings with it a pathogenic fungus as well as other fungal species that help establish its colonies within the trees. Pregnant females bore through the tree's bark, creating galleries under the bark. They plant the fungus in these galleries where it grows and spreads throughout the susceptible tree. The water and nutrient transportation of cells of the tree are damaged from the borer and the fungus. If untreated, the whole tree or groves eventually die. Thank you for taking the tour along with me here at the Town of Lake Hole Lagoon at the Lodge Reserve. We have arrived at our nature center. Hey, go to see you. Oh, it's oh, Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome. You guys did such a really good job on the nationwide, and you guys found the cobweb. I was looking for it. It was like perfect, right? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna make you guys junior rangers. I you guys are you junior rangers. You out who ranked me already then. Weird. So we're gonna do. Do you know the pledge too? Okay, cool. We're gonna. Do, All plants and creatures, 